Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on atrial flutter. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi, I am emergency medicine consultant. Atrial flutter caused by re-entry circuit in rate atrium and the length of the uh, circuit uh, depend on the size of the right atrium, usually result in atrial activity around 300 beat per minute. Ventricular rate depend on AV uh, conduction ratio or AV block and most common AV conduction ratio is two to one, resulting in ventricular rate of around 100 feet, uh, 100 beat per minute, sorry. Uh, causes of atrial flutter, uh, multiple causes, including hypertension, pulmonary embolism, structural uh, heart disease, like atrial septal defect, valvular heart disease, myocarditis and pericarditis, also digitalis toxicity, uh, thyrotoxic causes, pneumonia, alcohol, and electrolyte imbalance. As ECG features for atrial flutter, you, uh, atrial flutter usually narrow complex tachycardia, regular atrial activity around 300 beat per minute with loss of isoelectric baseline. And flutter waves in V1 may uh, resemble B waves and uh, uh, gives a saw tooth pattern which is best uh, seen in lead 2, 3, and EVF, like this one. Uh, as a types of AV block, there is fixed AV block, uh, which usually ventricular rate is fraction of atrial rate. So if atrial rate usually is 300, ventricular rate will be fraction of 300. So 2 to 1 block uh, will give ventricular rate 150 per minute and 3 to 1 block will give ventricular rate of 100 beat per minute, 4 to 1 block will give ventricular rate of 75 beat per minute. Variable AV block, ventricular response is irregular and mimic atrial fibrillation, like this uh, rhythm strip, so it's irregular ventricular rate, and even uh, you might find alternating 2 to 1 and 4 to 1 and 3 to 1 AV block in one patient. There is also atrial flutter with a slow ventricular response uh, like this ECG. You will find here the heart rate is around 30 beat per minute with flutter waves very obvious, usually in uh, if the patient already on medication like beta blocker or uh, digitalis toxicity. In this ECG, if you ask yourself what is the rhythm for first uh, look, it looks like atrial uh, flutter uh, here, for example, like atrial flutter. But if you take deeper uh, look into it, you will find different morphology for these waves, different morphology, different morphology with some very near QRS uh, complexes. This is atrial fibrillation. This is not atrial flutter. If you can see here, uh, uh, it's very uh, a small RR interval. This only can happen in atrial fibrillation. For classification of atrial flutter, according to direction and location of the re-entry circuit, and uh, this uh, only for the shape of atrial flutter, different in the shape, but at the end, the management of all classifications are the same. So it's either typical atrial flutter, where it, it uh, involves the uh, IVC and tricuspid isthmus, and according to direction, classified into anticlockwise and clockwise reentry. And also, atypical atrial flutter or uncommon type of atrial flutter or type 2 atrial flutter, uh, uh, and we will speak about it. So, typical atrial flutter, the di uh, anticlockwise, the direction of the reentry itself is anticlockwise and it involves the uh, IVC and isthmus of tricuspid valve, uh, gives rise to inverted flutter waves in lead 2, 3, and F, and positive flutter waves in lead V1, inverted in 2, 3, AF, and positive flutter waves in lead V1, positive flutter waves in lead V1, and inverted flutter waves in lead 2. This is anti-clockwise. Positive in V1, inverted in lead uh, 2, anti-clockwise, also the same, positive in lead uh, V1 and inverted flutter waves in lead uh, 2. This is typical anticlockwise atrial flutter. For the clockwise re-entry, the direction of the re-entry circuit is clockwise. It gives the 
uh, opposite pattern. So it will be positive in lead two and negative in lead V1 will be positive flutter waves in lead two and the negative flutter waves in lead V1. This is clockwise atrial flutter. A typical atrial flutter is a different criteria and associated with higher atrial rate and uh, uh, it's less amenable for catheter ablation. Like this one, you will find here positive in V1, but here in lead two and lead three, it's almost isoelectric uh, 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 line in lead two and lead three, and even in lead EVF, it's almost isoelectric with positive flutter waves here in lead uh, V1. If you can see here V1, there is positive flutter waves here and here and here. As a management for atrial flutter, you have uh, multiple options like rate control using beta blocker, uh, calcium channel blocker, digoxin, and medrone, and also rhythm control like synchronized electric cardioversion, especially if the patient is unstable. Drugs like ebotolide, sotalol, and medrone. And for prevention of flutter recurrence, use drugs as a maintenance therapy like amadrone, propafenone, and sotalol, and also radio, radio frequency ablation. For adenosine, it's helpful only in diagnosis of atrial flutter, so differentiate flutter from SVT by slowing the ventricular response and showing the flutter waves, but no role at all in management or treatment itself, in treatment or conversion of flutter waves. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and share and comment on our video and see you next video, inshallah.